nothing better than the smell of freshly brewed coffee in the morning. The rich aroma alone is enough to perk you up, so it's no surprise that today you'll find thousands of coffee shops all over the world. But not everyone who serves up this popular brew knows how to make a good one. A shot of coffee is a thick liquid that has a dark oily layer on top called crema. And it's this crema that is necessary for a great coffee. So how do you get the crema just right and the taste perfect? There are many variables that can affect the taste of your coffee. And here at the Sydney Coffee School, they teach you the art of making a great coffee. And I have barista extraordinaire Emily with me. What's the first most important thing? The first most important thing is making sure your machine is always kept scrupulously clean, whether it's for home or commercial use. And if it's not clean, how does that affect the coffee? Well, you get a lot of oily buildup from coffee. It's a very, uh, very oily substance that means that when it's in contact with oxygen, it goes rancid really quickly. So you need to keep that clean throughout the day and at the end of the night. So your machine's clean, what's the next step? Good quality, fresh beans, ground on demand for the machine that you're using. And if you have any leftover, just store them in an airtight container in a dark cupboard. The next stage to get a perfect shot of coffee is called packing the group handle. For this, we need between seven and nine grams of freshly ground coffee. We apply some pressure to it that's called tamping or packing. And then within 30 seconds, you should have around 30 mils of liquid, which we call a shot of coffee. And on top of that will be your lovely golden brown crema. So Emily, talk me through the foaming process. Start with a clean jug and use cold fresh milk. The tip of the wand's going to go below the milk and aerate it and heat it at the same time. Your hand's going to stay on the side of the jug until it's too hot for your hand to be there any longer. And that's when you know you've got the right temperature. The milk that you'll have when you've finished will be aerated and it'll have the texture of thick pouring cream, which is perfect for flat white, cafe latte and cappuccinos. Once you've heated your milk, it's really important to purge the steam arm and then wipe the wand of any excess milk. And Emily, you can order so many different coffees these days. How do they all differ from each other? Well, the basis for all standard coffees is one shot of coffee. It's also called an espresso or a short black. Uh, you start off with a short black in a, in a small cup. To that, you can add a dollop of hot foam, and that's called a macchiato. Uh, going to the milk coffees, you've got uh, a flat white that's served in a cup with a little bit of foam on top. Uh, cafe latte that's served in a glass with uh, up to 10 mils of foam. And of course, the cappuccino, which is in a cup with a lot of foam and chocolate powder on top. Well, now you know how to make a great coffee at home, and you'll be able to impress your dinner mates. If you'd like more information on our story, just visit our website and enjoy your daily grind.